So that was the conclusion of race number four, which we're at the 2022 Sunfish World Championship in Lake Garda, Italy. Dominic Simonetti was up near the top from New York. He was chasing down number 73, JP Tritazanese. I didn't get the other people because I was trying to say, well, the winds picked up in Lake Garda fashion all the way to, I would say, 12 and 13 miles an hour. You can see the white caps. What a beautiful day. It's in the low to mid 80s. The winds are blowing low teens. We got off one race after a general recall. And it looks like JP Trigatini's, unless something happened at the end that I did not see, has increased his lead. This John Condon from New York. I just want a drink from him. <laughs> nope. What's that? I don't think so. It was close. So there's Liza Clinton from Marblehead, Massachusetts. We both talked today. We had to have a better day today. The key is to get off the line and to hit the right side of the course or the correct side of the course. Uh, today, this morning, it seemed like the left side paid off a little bit more. But if you were not gonna get off the front line, it was helpful to go to the right side. So here we are in, um, the conclusion of race number four, which is the first race of day two on Wednesday. I think it's Vito Menino's birthday, Se September 7th. Happy birthday, Vito. This Philippine Van Anholt from Curacao. She represented her country in the laser radio back in the day. We got some fabulous sailors here. Of course, we have JP, Katarina, always spoke about them. Right there in the number six boat is the Sydney Karnofsky half of the children. She's sailing very well. I'm wondering what happened to Justin Anvil, number 62, and David Hernandez. Number 45. They came in tied for third and fourth place with 19 points apiece. And just after them, the Stefano, Pendula, Tori, who actually won race number two yesterday. So all these sailors are vying for top spots. And sixth place starting the day was Juan Begley of Guatemala. He is a fantastic sailor. And starting off the day also in seventh is Simon Gomez Ortiz, who won, I believe, I think he believe uh, won either Youth Worlds or Worlds. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not uh, up to date on that. Is Doug Kalkainen. He was sitting in at eighth place. And at ninth place is Marco Texanor. And tenth place coming into today is Juan Carlos Canizela of Guatemala. Guatemalans are sailing really well as, as well as any other country. The Peruvians are just dominant as they have been for the last 15 years. second day have come up a little bit. They're very comfortable at a nice 12 to 14 miles an hour. Nothing crazy. It's just a beautiful sight here at Lake Florida. What we're going to do here is I'm not just live streaming because it really doesn't even make sense because of the time difference. For most of the viewers, they're going to be on the Western Hemisphere. Beautiful 
mountains here. And as the mountains heat up over on the north, it creates a sea breeze called the Aura, which we are on right now, which is coming out of the south. What we're doing today is we did a windward lure twice around with a Hollywood finish, a reach finish. And it's very, sh it's very shifty. And the sides, either the left side or the right side, seem to have more wind than the middle. It's kind of tricky to figure out what side to choose. However, I would say in the last, so we had four races. Out of three out of four races, it seemed like the left side was, was favored, going upwind. Got a little bit of a, of a relief pitcher, a relief sailor, number 33 there. That is the Instagram world sailor. She's putting um, posts, so follow the Sunfish World's Instagram site, and that's she's posting here. And then we have number four right here. The person who's never wrong, the measurer, showing his blue and gold colors. He's a proud Spartan. I just called you a Spartan. <laughs> University of Michigan, he's actually a Wolverine, so they get sick when they are uh, mistaken for Spartans. So I'm going to cut off right now and uh, just as long as this is, it's going to take forever to upload back on the shore. So here we are at the 2022 Sunfish World Championships here in Lake Garda, Italy. We just completed race four, which is the first race of day two on Wednesday, September 7th. Take care. We'll see you soon. So here we are, we're just in the sequence at the start of the second race of the second day, which is race number five. The wind has picked up a little bit more. It's blowing maybe 13 to 15 miles an hour straight from 180 degrees south. Here we are at the 2022 World Championships at Lake Garda, Italy. And JP the Tragedies, I think, finished second. And coming out of from the uh, depths of a terrible third race yesterday was Dominic Simonetti, who finished third. That's a four minute gun. We are now in prep sequence and officially racing. So I'm gonna get off the phone, get off the phone and get back to you when the race is over. We're going to put these videos on streaming after I got into good Wi-Fi. There's no uh, sense of trying to stream. So stay tuned for the conclusion of race number five. Hey, 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 this is Lee after race number five on the second day of the 2022 Sunfish World Championships held at Lake Garner. The second race of day two, which is race number five, Katarina Romero of Peru. I believe Horizon jobs the whole fleet. Unless something really drastically happened, she probably had a 30 boat length lead going down the second downwind leg. She was just smoking. Right from the get-go, she got out in front and never looked back. So unless something happened between the last lured mark and, and the finish, Katarina took first by a long, long shot. I'm not even sure who was in second. And the winds were a little bit up and down, actually, this race. After the second race of day two, which is race number five. They topped out to maybe 14 or 15, but sometimes they went down to probably about 10 or 11. It was very frustrating, especially at the windward mark where, sorry about the, the noise. Especially at the, the windward mark triangle, if you were not in the top, it got really washing machine-y there. It was like sailing in, a soft cycle washing machine. It was very, very slow going, but you had to have patience to get through it. Um, right now, we're waiting for the rest of the finishers to go.
really don't know who there's a the thing with this venue is that it really mixes up the competitors it, it, it's unless you're Katarina I didn't even know what JP was in that race it's it's not that easy to just say okay um, these five guys or five women are always going to be up top it's not like that and some of the people who are on the top get down to like in their 20s or something like that so, so there's some big numbers on some of the top sailors i don't have a um a flip on this camera because it's a i'm doing video so right here we have a beautiful day it's it's slightly overcast hey nick it's slightly overcast, but it's it's lightening up again. And uh, which for a lot of people, they like it. It's not that crazy wind, even at the top end of today. It was much heavier yesterday. I think it's because the clouds over the, over those mountains are preventing the heating up of the mountains. So we're not getting much of an aura, O-R-O. Which is, which is Italian for aura. I have no idea what that means. It's, it's a southerly wind that's basically the equivalent of a sea breeze. So today we have 94 boats. A lot of the boats are making moves. I saw Jeff Olson who had two did not starts or did not compete yesterday. And he's out there giving it his all. And I wish I was a little closer to the front because then, then I could see who's there but starting today we had a two-way tie for third in uh, just Van Anholt and David Hernandez JP Trajagines of Peru was leading Katarina by one point it's going to be a dog fight to see who comes up on top today uh, everything is really close and actually if they had a throw out after day one it would be David Hernandez of Guatemala actually leading the regatta with four points. He had a he had a two, a two, and a, a fifteen, which for the top of the fleet of fifteen is actually pretty bad. Um, Katarina had a deuce, a deuce, and a, tw a twelve, I think. No, he uh, Katarina had a three, a three, and a twelve, so that would have put her behind um, David Hernandez. So. There's, there's the Guatemalan contingent over there. They're just... It's really fun watching these guys and girls sail. They're very good and they're very fast. And when you're, when you're good in your, in your fleet at home and then you go to a venue like this, you realize how big the, the pond is and how little a fish you can be. But it's a lot of fun. Uh, sailing uh, with some of these Olympic sailors. Uh, we have Juan Megley, who's an Olympian. Uh, Philippine Van Anhol, who's an Olympian. Uh, we have a few world champions. JP won a, a world championship. Uh, David Hernandez won a world championship. And there's countless national champions. Countless. Count everyone's basically a cl closer regional champion. Um, not everybody has won a regional championship. You don't have to win a regional championship, but then you've got to be put on a wait list. But that's that's a summary of of the second race, which is race number five on the second day, which is Wednesday, September seventh, Vito Menino's birthday. And that's so cool. There's a whole bunch of kite boards all the way down on the on the southern end. You can't see it on there. There's like little things. But um, yeah, so we're here at the, after the second race of day two, which is race number five. If we complete the sixth race, which I guarantee we will, now the sailors will have a throw out and it's gonna change the scores even that much more. So here I am, my name is Lee Montez. We're here at Lake Garda, Italy at the 2022. Sunfish World Championships. Stay tuned and we'll get you another video soon.
right now it's actually light wind. <laughs> and there's 94 boats spread out, waiting for the wind to settle in here. We got these beautiful mountains. These coach boats here. People hanging out. We got the Peruvian team here. So it's a competition, world championship, where we have about 13 countries represented. It's just a beautiful venue. Okay, so after a long delay of about half hour, they flying the AP over H, which means racing is done for today. So we got the whole fleet going in on Moss. Back to the club.